Hey there, Ian with Dan Beaver Trap and Supplies. We have a couple of coyotes here left to skin from this past year. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, how do we do it? Stuff like that, with your tricks. Nothing special, I'll just run you through a few things of what I do to, to skin some of these coyotes. Uh, take it from there, see what you think. We have a couple nice coyotes here. This is a big male. He's still furred, heavy, nice. Really good. This is a lighter female. She looks really good. Uh, very light color. So, it'll be interesting how she turns out. Maybe it could be a top luck coyote there. Who knows? But we'll uh, get these skinned out for you. Show you how I do it. So, one of the first things I do with the coyote after I got it hanging up here is uh, make the first cut from his butthole down the tail. So we'll do that right now. We find the center of that tailbone. And just gently or firmly make that slit. There, now you can see that's the opening up of the skin there. Then you run your knife around the butthole. And up the side of the leg. You can see where it's cutting. You don't want to go too deep, but you just want to get in there enough that it goes up the side of the leg. So you can see it's cut all the way down. So now you do the same thing, excuse my positioning here, and do it for that leg. So we'll do that now. Okay, got it skinned down to where we want it to be right now. This is basically where I cut it, cut the tail, and then up each side of the leg, and we skinned it down. So now we're going to skin out the tail. I'll show you how I finish taking the bone out. All I'm going to really do is cut down the tail a little further. Oops, cut it down a little further skin around the back here and then get a tail puller and pull that bone out. So I'm going to try to show you as best I can with this camera, this angle, to skin down the rest of the tail here. So I like to go get in between, there's the two little strips here, it's kind of a middle spot. Get your blade in there and just go down, cutting that to about there. Now, just hold that back, skin around a little bit, and underneath, get your fingers in there. Some of this. And then I'll get a puller and show you. Okay. So now we've got that skin down a little ways. Some guys do it a little less. I do a little more. Just whatever you're happy with. Take your plastic tail stripper. Put it on the bone. And just pull down on it. And then your bone will come out nice and easy. Okay, now that you got the tailbone out, there's a cavity in there. So you take your uh, plastic tail zipper, stick it in that hole, and just go straight down. And basically, you don't have to go that far. You go to about the end of the tail, and you can feel it hitting something there, and just stop. That's because the end of the tail is right there, and this little part is in the, at the end. It won't cut any further anyway. So... Just pull it out and done. Now that tail is slid all the way down nicely and easily dries. So some guys will kneel on the hide. Get your knee on there, pull it down that way. 
sometimes it's easier just to spin it around with your fist and just keep pushing down i'll show you in a minute here after where i put my knee on the hide and pull down around the head part and stuff like that and neck a little easier that way So when we get to the legs here, the front legs, usually the elbows are right about here. Right about here I'll go and I'll cut right around. Before we get any further. Because once the hide starts covering it, it's hard to see. So just go right around, pull it back, make sure it's all cut good. And here it is. So she's good all the way around. So we have it skinned down to the front shoulders. All I was doing is pulling it by hand. You could get your knee in the hide or and pull it down that way. But I just simply kept pulling it. It's not very hard. It comes off very easy. Use your knife here and there where you need to. But otherwise, that's it. So to get in between the legs here, you usually get one hand underneath the skin. So it's in there. And just keep pushing with these fingers. And keep pulling from underneath until you get that pocket in there so now on this side you just look for that shoulder area same thing both legs a little between the shoulder and the neck try find that little spot so a spot that you're looking for is just between the neck and the shoulder blade there you take a screwdriver poke it through that way and it should come out between the neck and the shoulder that side so now with the screwdriver in there you just go and try and give it a good push down and what that does is pulls it away from the hide or the hide from the around the neck area and do that both sides find a spot poke it out there and pull down so now that you got a skin down to there you got to get this rest of the leg out what i like to do is just cut this tendon this is the only tendon you really want to cut because that leg is kind of stiff in there so when you cut that tendon, it's sure a lot easier. So again, stiff, cut the tendon, it pops right out. Now you can easily pull that leg out. Right to where you had it cut from before. Needs a little bit of help. There you have it, the legs are out. So now that you got it skinned down to the neck or the base of the neck there, this is a little harder getting it over the head. So this is where I get my knee, grab hold by the base of the tail, and just pull down. Sometimes it comes better, sometimes not. It's still a little cool not quite thawed totally give it a little help with the knife try not to cut those arteries in the neck they're so full of blood doesn't really make a difference but it makes a mess so again there you go now you're down to the base of the ears. So now that we're down to the ears, 
Some guys would take a screwdriver, get it in between here. Same thing I did with the front leg. I try to pull it out. What I like to do is still cut it off. Cut the ear off and pull the cartilage out as we're skinning it. So now, just basically keep skinning away till you get the faces done. So there we have it, all skinned down, just hanging here. I'll flip it inside out so it doesn't dry too much or too quick. Then I'll start on this guy. Basically the same way, skin them and then we'll start flushing them. So we got the two uh, coyotes skinned, uh, carcasses that are thrown outside. Now we're gonna put them on that flushing beam and I'll show you how I, uh, how I do the flushing. Now, when I got the coyote on the board, I don't do a whole lot with the head. I mean, I'll try to get some of this meat off, stuff like that, but I don't scrape a whole lot. I usually do that near the end. But what I'll do is try to get an ear in that corner of the beam, get my belly in there, and start scraping. And what I use, just a plastic puck board knife. We sell these here in the store. They hardly cut anything. You hardly get any rips or nicks in the in the hide, but they're very, very good for that. So you can put a lot of pressure on and not worry about damaging the hide. Now this coyote actually is very little fat, so I'll just work on getting some of that muscle off. you're doing is pushing that muscle off and any fat that's on there I know the next one we're gonna do has a lot more fat you know just simple keep going all the way down I'll show you how to take the ear cartilage out of this guy. How I usually start is there's this hard piece of skin there. Kind of get underneath it. There you go. Now skin around the ear a little. It's all hard cartilage there. This side, you can see where the cartilage is separating from the skin my hands out of the way for you to see now taking the cartilage out only helps so it doesn't rot i've seen a lot of coyotes left cartilage in and they still sell well at the auction so as long as it's dry and not rotting so now we got it halfway done. You can keep skinning a little bit if you want. Now it's flipped out. Get your thumb in there. And you can get it all the way worked down to the tip of the ear, creating a little pocket. Now just kind of rip it along the edge of the ear. Now you have a perfect ear, perfect cartilage out. Now this is the second coyote I did. He was shot in the side. He's got a little hole there. We'll sew him up after. But you can easily, with this plastic knife, just flesh right over top of that hole. And it doesn't cut more. You still got to be careful, but it's not as bad. 
You can see how much fattier this one is compared to that female. This is your typical coyote. And then this knife just pulls that off so nice. press pretty hard and get all that milky fat out of there and keep doing the whole thing so there we have two skin coyotes their flesh the ear cartilage is out but they're got a little bit of blood on them that one was shot so there's some blood on the fur that other one is nice but they've never had a bath before so take the old washing machine I got some cold water in there. I just threw some shampoo in there, just from the house. So they need something to get them degreased a little bit. So we'll fire that up and get them in there. So just put the coyotes down in the water. We put five gallons of water in there. No, maybe ten gallons actually. See how dirty it is already. Good. Just cold water from the tap, a little bit of shampoo, and look how dirty that water is. Kyle's have never had a bath before, so that's why I do it fur out so the shampoo gets in the hair better, greases them a bit. We'll see what we can come up with after. So now that we have the coyote done, we're going to pull them out his head and just start kind of pulling the water down squeezing as you go and then put him in my ringer spinner here that's how dirty the water was just from two coyotes for about five minutes. I got him in that spinner. He's dripping out a little bit. This is one of those apartment sized spinners. And I'll just let him spin in there. And all that water comes pouring out of there. Doesn't take long, a couple minutes maybe, not even. Okay, we'll stop it. He's almost dry. Nothing dripping. There we go. The two coyotes are out of the spinner. Dripping just a few drops. Otherwise, very nice and dry. What I'll probably do is leave these hang for a while. Let them air dry some more. Flip them over. Sew up any holes and put them on the board. Now, what you have to do though is cut the rest of that uh, ear or uh, lips off when you got on the board. So I'll try to show you that later. So now that I have it all uh, stretched on here, you gotta cut the lip off. So you just get the knife in there, go up to partly to the nose, down, and back up. There. Lips are off. 
try to turn this around here. Ears are pinned up to the head and she's good to go. So now I'll take this, it'll get the temperature back in the skinning shed here to about 60 degrees, uh, like 15, 16 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, 60, 65 Fahrenheit. Get that guy back on the stretcher and uh, tomorrow morning when I come in here, I'll check on it. See how dry they are. If I should uh, flip them or wait. And after a couple days of drying on the board, that's the finished product. They look pretty good. I'll be sending them off to auction. So that's how I skin and flesh my coyotes. I hope you enjoyed it uh, maybe you guys do yours a different way that's how i do mine uh, it's there's no right way no wrong way really unless you really butcher them but uh there you have it we'll send these off the auction when they're done and hopefully we have some good prices yet this year thanks